Hello YouTube, this is Runner. This is my ice farm, which is based on Gnemon's design, enhanced with an auto repair station, so we get XP orbs from the side here. I covered this in a past video. One of the good problems to have with the auto crafter is that we have new challenges. I immediately put in an auto crafter that produces compressed ice instead of the ice before. But what I really need is all three types of ice. Now obviously I want ice as water source, but I also need a lot of blue ice, for example for the nether speedways. And I plan to build a boat racing course, so I will need a lot more ice. So what I want is certainly not only shulker boxes of ice, because I would have to craft them up, but I want all three ice types. So I did a little bit of a design, and let's have a look at this in creative. This is it. The ice comes in here via item filters. The output is an equal number of ice, compressed ice, and blue ice in shulker boxes. So let's have a look at the redstone contraption behind that. And I have unpacked it a bit. So this is the lower layer. The ice comes in at double hopper speed in this case. You could of course use also droppers and bring in the ice at higher speed, but my ice farm pretty much works at close to double hopper speed, so that's fine. And we have three shulker box loaders for the ice, for the compressed ice and for the blue ice, and we have an auto crafter between them. So what happens here? We have a hopper that sucks out the ice from one line, so the ice would first go into this line, so this hopper would always be filled. And after one shulker box and a bit, this hopper would be backed up, and all of the ice would go past the hopper into this autocrafter. And we have a second line where the ice goes directly into the autocrafter. The autocrafter outputs the item into this hopper. And now we have the same procedure. We have another hopper sucking out the items, which will be compressed ice. And this compressed ice will back up into this hopper. And then the items will go into this, this autocrafter and this autocrafter will craft up the compressed ice to blue ice. And here we have three shulker box loaders combined, and they are as simple as they come, with a dispenser dispensing the new shulker boxes, and here a piston. And what we do, we read the shulker boxes using a comparator and compare them to signal strength 15. So this redstone torch will be off only if the shulker box is completely full. And this is a very simple OR circuit. So as long as one of the shulker boxes is not full, and of course this will always be the blue ice ones, we will have a redstone signal here. If this shulker box would be full, so let's replace this with a full shulker box, so you can see what happens. Now this redstone torch goes on, and we get a signal to all of the three pistons, so we will break all three shulker boxes. As soon as the shulker boxes are broken, this redstone torch goes off again, and we have here redstone torches, and here a redstone torch powering the dispensers, so they will dispense new shulker boxes. Really simple, they will always break and dispense their shulker boxes together, and at the back we just have a supply for shulker boxes. We use carpet with stackable shulker boxes, so that's that. And the next layer is really only a control for the autocrafters. For ice, there is really no recipe that we have to be afraid of. If this were, for example, iron ingots, we could get iron nuggets or iron bars or pressure plates. But with ice, really the only case that we have, we have nine ice. And in this case, we will here get a reading of nine. So these comparators are compared to a signal of 9 using this crafter with all slots blocked, which is read by a comparator. So here we will have a signal as soon as all 9 slots are filled. And this is the usual observer clock, which powers a block over the crafters because the crafters are not quasi-powerable, which is a bit surprising to me. They behave different than droppers on dispensers. This auto crafter will craft up the ice. If the shulker box is empty, then all of the compressed ice will go in here. If not, the hopper will push the compressed ice in the last crafter and will convert it to blue ice until the shulker box is full as well. And the remaining part here is just an item filter. Because in an ice farm there can always happen that you lose something, some junk gets in there. We don't want to have these items clogging up the auto crafter setup. 
And of course on creative, I will just use a command block to simulate the ice coming in at double hopper speed. For this farm, based on Gnemon's design with double hopper speed, this is just the right size. By the way, in 120.4 I saw instances where the player would get stuck in configurations like this, where we have a door adjacent to a sign. This didn't happen in previous versions, but I just changed the configuration to something like this and now the farm works perfectly again. And I've been AFK in this farm for a couple of nights. Unfortunately, it takes roughly 10 hours to get a full set of shaka boxes, one each of blue ice, compressed ice and ice. But as you can see, the distribution works perfectly. Three shakas of blue ice and of compressed ice and also normal ice. I did a couple of tweaks. It takes 81 ice to get one blue ice. So what can you do if you don't need that much blue ice? Very simple, you put a lever here and turn it on so the redstone torch will be off. In this case you will get only ice and compressed ice. Now there will be a shaker box dispensed and broken so we will, you will have empty shaker boxes in the blue ice output, which isn't a big issue I think. Also if you want a shaker box of one type, you can just power this piston, for example using this button here in the back or this button here on the side. This will just break this shaker box. If you think you need one more ice shaker box, then you could just hit this button. Now it will not be re-dispensed, so you will have to replace it manually. You could probably add this if you want to. Not for me, it's fine. I might at some point turn off the blue ice generation if I have enough for my nether pathways. So yeah, that's one of the many interesting problems that arise from the introduction of the autocrafter. And I think the solution is quite neat and reasonably compact. So, problem solved, on to the next problem. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Please subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. And see you next time. Bye bye.